Hey everybody, welcome back to Appify Your Business. This video is going to cover three different tricks you can use with your actions. And the three we're going to talk about today are the ability to dynamically change colors of your actions or statically change colors of your actions, reordering the order of those actions, and even creating a space between those action buttons. So really quickly using this detail view, you see here I have an action that I've set. And if I wanted to change the color of this action, either just to be statically a different color than the built-in color that's uh, that was selected for your application, you can set up a format rule. So when you set up a format rule, you, you tip, you'll see your columns that you normally select when setting up your format rules. But if you scroll to the bottom, you'll see some entries down at the bottom that have action next to them. And this is where you could find the action to select and change uh, based off of what you select. So right now I'm selecting this action here that's showing in the application. And now I can come down here to the color section and change my color. So to change the color of the icon itself, you'll select highlight color. And you'll notice here as I click through how my uh, icons change. And you can also change the text color as well if you want to. Um, so that, that's up to you. And then obviously with any of these colors, you have full hex color code support. In addition to that, you can also change the icon as well. If you have different states or different, um, different levels of maybe a status or something like that, you could actually, you know, you take advantage of these different formats for each icon, how there's some that are more bolded and then they kind of get lighter or even just change the icon completely, but you could, you know, have your app smartly change, you know, how these look based off different scenarios to add additional richness to your app as well. And then, you know, don't forget to take advantage of the condition as well. So you could dynamically change that um, too. Second trick is reordering icons. So under the actions section, when you're looking at your actions, you have this option down here at the bottom to click rearrange icons. And this allows you to drag uh, stuff around. So if you have multiple icons showing here and you wanted to reorder the layout, you can just by dragging it around and then so you click on that when it's done. Now, taking this a step further, there's also a trick too to add gaps or what would be perceived as a gap in these icons too. So this is the third uh, trick that I wanna cover here is you can create an action against the table it's essentially called a spacer, right? So we'll just call this spacer. You can call it whatever you want. But under do this, we'll set this as a grouped action with no entries. So it's not going to do anything. And what we can do under appearance is uncheck the icon itself. So we don't have an icon selected. And under um, format rules, we can add a new format rule that's also called spacer and select that action and we can turn it the color of the background. So in this case, I just wanna use white for both. And this gives the effect of letting you add gaps to things. Maybe you wanna separate icons so they're not so close to each other. And then um, you could reorder these as well. So if I wanted to add maybe a space between update project column here, I could take the spacer and I could add that. That space right so I have a look and feel now of uh, separation right to give more um, you know this could help with the intuitiveness of displaying those icons on the display so with that if you like this video please uh, like the video below and subscribe and thanks for watching have a good one